LiveBinders is a resource I discovered a while ago, actually. It's one I've used from time to time. I wish I discovered it when I was uh, still teaching because I think it's a really valuable resource to be used. Um, what you're going to have to do is go up to sign up and you're going to go and have to sign in. If I click on sign up, um, it's, it's very simple. Username, email address, password, um, agreeing, and, and you get signed up. I'm going to go ahead and do that now and just give you some basic overviews before you go into a more in-depth tutorial after this. Okay, once you're signed in, uh, the first thing you're going, going to want to do is, uh, is do some searching just to see what there is and what you can find. We'll click start first on about binders because you won't have any of your binders for yourself. Um, if you want some general information, go down and watch a video or you can go ahead and just start a binder and get started. A big thing about this is being able to go in and just look at other people's ideas and what they have and uh, start there. We can take a look at some featured binders that they will uh, show us and I've done some searching already in education. You can see some categories over here where you can go in and uh, just take some time and, and look through what's out there. Uh, one thing you can do is just do a search right up here. Well, let's say I'm going to search on genetics. Well right here let's say there's one I really like, Biology Genetics Research. I've checked it out. I go down here to options and um, I can either email this, show details, embed in my blog or present this one for myself. Now depending on how these are set, I can go in and actually make a copy. Um, and that depends on the person who creates it, whether they want to allow other people to do that. So when I make a copy, what that's going to do is put a copy of that binder in my binders. It's now mine. I can go in, I can edit, I can add websites, I can take out websites. Because what we're basically doing in a live binder is collecting websites in a, in a very organized way that they can be, um, you know, students could go in in a certain order to look at them. Um, just to organize information, kind of like you would do in a textbook or in a binder a teacher might use to, for curriculum. The great thing about this is not only can you create these tabs, but you can go in and create sub-tabs inside here. Um, all you do is click on this triangle and it gives you some options as far as moving them in the order, deleting them all together, or um, going in and adding a new tab or adding a new sub-tab. Something to keep in mind. Another feature you might not see right off the bat is if you go to Edit Menu, I can bring up a few different things as far as uploading pictures, um, other tabs, inserting media that I have on my computer, uh, also text layout. Let's take a look at that one. If you see down here, um, media is the website, how, it, how it's viewed. You could go in and put in your own data if I choose this one, and I can just add text. So if I want to put in some information from my student next to that website, maybe some discussion questions, some questions I'm going to want them to answer uh, somewhere, I could go in and do that. So there are some features that you might not know are there. So keep going. There's a lot to learn about live binders and there's a lot to explore. So let me know if you have any questions.